Is the way that you're turning your shoulders in your golf swing causing you to hit wayward oh, golf shots? Do we need to get your shoulders moving correctly in the golf swing to help you hit straighter shots and maybe longer golf shots with that driver of yours? Hello everyone, I am Coach Lockie, PGA golf professional. Welcome back to the channel. Or if you're new here and this is the first video of mine you are seeing, welcome. A little reminder for you all, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you are enjoying the content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and turn the bell on so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. It's a common question that I do get asked in lots of my lessons. How do the shoulders turn and move in the golf swing? Should you be trying to point them at that golf ball in your back swings? Should they shift off of the golf ball in your back swing? Let's try and answer some of those questions and let you know how the shoulders should be moving in your golf swings to help you hit better golf shots. First up, let's talk about some common golf swing mistakes I see in amateurs golf swings when it comes to shoulder turn. And if you think you do one of these in your golf swing, comment down below and let me know which one you are. Common golf swing mistake number one that I see with shoulder turn is trying to get these shoulders pointing at the ball on the backswing. Now, if you've got a club close by or if you're gonna take this to the range or whatever, grab a club and put it across your shoulder line. However you do it, I didn't mind, put it on the backs of your shoulders, put it across your chest and high up where it's level with your shoulders and try and point that club towards <laughs> the golf ball. Honestly, that is some serious shoulder turns and tilts to get that club. I don't even know if I am doing it from this angle here, but that is crazy. And on things like gears measuring systems that uh, is all across the golf industry now, which we're seeing in the coaching world, is that the top players in the world just aren't trying to point their shoulders towards that golf ball in the backswing. I've got a seven iron in my hands here, and if I did my seven iron turn, I'm probably pointing that club somewhere towards those golf balls and that launch monitor over there. So there's nowhere near as much tilt as what I'm seeing some of my lessons trying to get. Let me know in the comments, is that you? Common goal swing mistake number two that I see more often than mistake number one, actually. So number two, is a rise up of the head and a level shoulder turn. So on the back swings, I tend to see people not getting much tilt in their hips. They have quite a level hip turn, which will mean that they're not bending their lead knees very much and things like that to get that hip tilt, which gives them a level turn, which will give them a level shoulder turn and a rise up in their back swing. Again, something you just aren't seeing the top players in the world doing. And common goal swing mistake number three. I'm gonna give you three. So once you've done all your back swings and your turns, number three is I tend to see people's shoulders working quite level and up on the downswing. That's gonna cause loads of issues on the way down, clubs bottoming out early in front of the golf ball, fats, thins, all horrible golf shots that we don't want. So let me know in the comments down below if you think any of those common goal swing mistakes are you. And you're probably thinking, Matt, come on, get to the point. I wanna correct this. Okay, let's help you. First of all, let's talk about the backswing. So backswing ideas for your shoulder turns. I want to see a little bit of shift away from the target. So if you were to, or I will do it, if I draw a line down the side of my body here once I've set up. I don't want to see you trying to keep that lead shoulder on that line. I want to see it move away from that line. And because we've got some forward bend address and set up, you're gonna see that lead shoulder move down as you make your backswing too. So this is the kind of move that I want to see your lead shoulder making in your back swings. Draw a line up the side. I want to see it move away from that line and also move down. Again, because we've got that bend at the start of our swing, you're gonna see that shoulder move down. I don't wanna see that shoulder sliding straight across away from that line. And I certainly don't wanna see it moving down that line. 
Put a camera right in front of you and film some of your swings. Draw the lines which I have and see where your shoulder is going. Is it moving in the right direction? Once you've got that movement, we need to start changing how you're moving your shoulders on the downswing as well. Once you're at the top of your backswing and you've moved that shoulder in the direction that we've talked about, I now need you to think about this lead shoulder also moving down towards your lead foot. So it shifts towards the target and it also moves down towards that lead foot. This is something that great golfers, really good golfers are all doing. Whereas amateurs will have such different patterns depending on how you're swinging in your backswing. If I've got a level shoulder turn, a rise up, I also see a shift over towards the target, but that shoulder moving up instead of moving down on your downswing. Shoulder moving up, club starts to crash into the ground too early, striking that golf ball becomes a problem you're gonna see golf shots that we just don't want. So next time you're practicing, even if you're just at home now watching this video, grab a club, If make sure you don't hit the ceiling or anything, <laughs> or any lights dangling down. I've had a few students do that in my time. But if you're at the range or at home, grab a club and concentrate on this lead shoulder and the way that it's moving. We want a shift away from the target and it to move down. Once you get to the top of your backswing, it's gonna raise up a smidge, but as you start your downswing, we now want that to shift back towards target and move down from where it went back. So there's a squat in motion, there's gonna be a move down with this lead shoulder towards that lead foot. This is gonna help with things like vertical forces. If you get this shoulder moving down and shifting towards target, towards that lead foot, that vertical force is gonna be increased significantly. You're gonna start pushing it out the ground properly, helping low points, helping strike, helping you hit some straighter, longer golf shots. Just like that. Little bonus bit of information here for you as well. If you start to do this properly, you'll start to lower your hands better in the downswing too you'll keep the structure that you have at the top of your swings for longer on the way down, which will then get your lead arm out ahead of you, helping you release that club better, rather than if you're swinging pretty level, you keep your arm pinched across your chest as this shoulder raises up and you never get this arm out in front of you. So as you do come through, you tend to see a really high lead shoulder rather than what you'll see a pro doing is having that lead shoulder a lot lower than the amateur. A little bonus tip there. But if you want to know more about that, let me know in the comments down below. I'll happily do a video on that too. I hope that helps you improve your turns in the golf swing. I hope that helps you understand how the shoulders should be moving in your golf swings too, to help you hit better golf shots. And again, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below which one out of those three possibly are you and your golf swings. And if you have any questions that you want answering in the comment section too. Finally, if you are enjoying the content and the channel, don't forget, hit that big red subscribe button, turn your bell on so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. Thanks all for watching. Here's to better golf. See you in the next one.